Hey guys, welcome to another home lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be showing you how you can install and set up a paperless NGX server. So in the case that you're like very environmental friendly and you want to, you know, scan your documents, put them in one place and then uh, recycle all your paper. This is a great way to do it. If you're not environmentally friendly and you just like building servers, this is still your video. So stay, stay in tune, have some fun and uh, let's get started. So. All right, all right. So um, we'll open up a terminal here. We'll log into our server um, that we have here, um, base server that we created for it. And um, we're going to be using uh, paperless NGX's Docker kind of uh, install. Um, so what we want to do here first is actually uh, install Docker. So we'll add the Docker repository um, here, docker.com, Linux CentOS docker.ce.repo and then we'll install docker.ce and we'll let that install that'll take a few few seconds here um, but while we have that we'll open up our GitLab instance and we'll go to our DNS project where we will update our DNS um, to reflect um, our DNS name essentially for this so what we'll do here first is update the serial number and then and add the DNS entry. So we'll just call it paperless in this case. In A and 73. So by adding this here, it will go through our CICD pipeline um, and essentially deploy this out to our uh, DNS server, which is great. Um, so if you want to know more about that black magic and how that all works, uh, um, let me know in the comments. I already have a video it's in my home lab series video, um, but I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head right now. So, um, but let me know in the comments if you can't find it. So uh, that will set up the DNS. So we should be all set with that. Um, Docker did install, um, but what we want to also do is start it, enable it. So we'll enable Docker and then we'll start Docker. Um, and then we also want to set up uh, Docker Compose. So what we'll do here is grab the Docker Compose release from GitHub in their Docker Compose repository. Um, releases, download, and then we just got the 2.5. They have newer versions, but I've just been using the 2.5 for the most part, which works out pretty well, actually. x86.64. And we will output it to user local bin docker compose. And then we'll just make sure that it is executable. User local bin docker compose. And we can run it with, uh, I think it's just version like that and see that it actually works. So um, next thing that we'll do here is we'll um, add a user and we'll call it paperless. And then we'll make sure um, add the group for it, um, add the Docker group for it so that it can run Docker commands. And then we can assume the user paperless. Um, so now we're running as the paperless user. So what we'll do here is go in and type in paperless ngx github. Um, we can see their GitHub repository. And actually, if we keep on scrolling down, there is a getting started where they actually have their own script to run as. So we'll copy that and paste that and let it run. Um, so huh, look, you, we will need to get wget installed, install wget. Um, and actually, I actually have to do this back as root because I don't have this, this user doesn't have pseudo permissions, which is fine. So we'll install wget. Boop. All right, and then become the paperless user again, paperless, and then paste the same command and run it. So now we'll have, what, what should the URL be? So it's going to be HTTP paperless.dragon.local, because that's what we set up for our domain. Um, we can let it listen on 8,000, which is fine. Um, I'm in America, Chicago, so we'll change the time zone. We will leave the database to be default. Uh, we won't enable that. Uh, English for our users can be a thousand, group can be a thousand. We'll leave the target folder by default. 
Um, we'll also leave the consumer folder by default, media folder by default, but you can also change these in your in your own actual lab. Um, but to get started, you can actually just leave most of this as default, honestly. Um, then we'll enter the username and we'll enter paperless. We'll type in a password for this. This is important because you want to actually remember the password. Um, dragon, uh, dragon local. And pretty much it'll give you a summary of all the options that you picked and then hit any key to install. So then it'll go through, essentially go um, get to the Docker version, get all the things that it wants and essentially doc compose up and then you can see all these um, images and things like that will be pulled down and ready to be ran when it is done. So you can see we're still extracting a few more um, and it should be done here in the next few seconds. I will um, minimize that page because that was kind of it's a little seizure like, you know, um, usually the text is smaller so then it, it, it it all fits on that page on one page, um, but that is okay. So we'll just give it a few seconds. Um, while that actually happens, actually, okay, yep. So that is still finishing. Um, we'll actually log in to our CA server um, to create a CA key, a certificate for our TLS. So what we'll do is make a directory, call it paperless, change to it, and then we'll create the certificate and we'll call it paperless dot dragon dot local paperless dot dragon dot local dot cert and paperless dot dragon dot local dot key then it will ask for our permission key which is in our vault warden so let's log into our vault warden vault warden dragon dragon dot local and copy the permission key paste that and now we got both keys, so we can copy this out, copy both keys out to our paperless server. And we are good on this, so we won't need this connection anymore. So we'll close that. Okay, so now we can see that it is running um, on 8,000. So before we actually go to it, um, let's go back to become the root user. Um, we'll actually install Nginx here. Um, and we'll use uh, Nginx proxying to essentially front the TLS termination for HTTPS with the certs that we just created um, and and uh, sent over to the server. So once this is done installing, what we'll do here is make the Etsy PKI Nginx private directory. We'll move um, paperless. Uh, the cert to Etsy PKI Nginx, and we're going to move the key to Etsy PKI Nginx private. Then what we need to do is edit the Nginx configuration in Etsy Nginx Nginx.conf. We'll scroll all the way down, which you can do if you're using Vite by hitting Shift G, and then we'll uncomment everything at the bottom here, which is the TLS section for Nginx. So give me a few seconds and there we go. So we're gonna update a few values here. So you can see here that we need to update the cert because it's not service cert, it is oh, paperless dragon.local.cert and then the key is the same thing, paperless dragon.local.key. And then the important part is how we're doing this. So we'll set the location to essentially proxy pass to HTTP localhost 8000, which is where it's listening on. We'll also set the client max body size to zero. So essentially you won't be limited by um, size uploads. Um, this is very important for any application to make sure that, you know, if you have a bigger size, Nginx isn't stopping it. And then we'll also set the proxy read timeout to be a really huge number um, so that you essentially don't, when, when it's uploading, it doesn't time out on accident. So we'll set those and then we will restart Nginx. All right, so we've gone through pretty much all the steps on the back end. So if we're lucky, and by lucky, I mean good at, good at doing tech, we should be able to pay list dragon.local and now you get the login screen. Um, so in here, we set up, if you recall back during the setup, we, we set up a user and we should be able to sign in as that user. 
So now you have officially set up paperless NGX. Um, so now you can upload documents. Um, there, there's a lot of things that you can kind of do with documents and sorting and whatnot. Um, so uh, I think the the big thing to know here is obviously um, you can browse files and like upload a document from here and and watch it upload. Um, but say for example, you know, you have a scanner or you're using a phone, you can use your phone and take a picture and upload it here by going to, you know, this web page, hitting the browse for file and, and use your camera essentially. Um, so that will that will also work too um, in regards to uploading files. So um, I'm hoping this file actually finishes uploading here. Yes, there it goes. So my PDF uploaded, um, but obviously it could be, you know, a JPEG or, or, or a doc and whatnot. So that way you can scan or take a picture of all your files, upload them here. Um, so you don't need paper stuff anymore in your house. You can recycle it or shred it, um, if it, if it's more confidential documents. So that is how you can save the environment or just have fun with tech. <laughs> um, so if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.